Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Lexar 128GB 633X micro SD card. We're going to be putting it into the GoPro Hero 5 Black. Now this memory card in the 128GB version is not on the GoPro recommended list, so we're going to do some testing over the next couple of weeks and see what happens. Check it out. Hey everyone, so we're going to be looking at the Lexar 128GB 633X micro SD card. It says it's good for Android, 4K, good for drones, cameras, tablets, that sort of thing. We're going to be putting it into the GoPro Hero 5 Black. As I'd mentioned, this card is not on the GoPro recommended list for micro SD cards. The 64GB version is, um, so I thought I'd give this one a whirl and try it out. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the micro SD card. So the reason I bought this card is it was only $49.99 at the electronics shop. It's a fair bit cheaper than the other recommended cards on the GoPro website. Those ones tend to range in the $100 to $150 range for the 128 gigabyte version. So I figured I'd give this one a shot. Worst case scenario, I could use it in my phone or in my tablet. So we'll put that into the GoPro, pull the battery out. It's a little bit easier to get the card in. We'll slide that in there. What I'm going to do is film for a couple of weeks here in all sorts of different modes, and then I'll check back in with you and we'll, we'll go over the results. This is 1080p, 60 frames per second in linear mode. 1080p 120 frames per second in wide mode. We have 720 240 frames per second in narrow mode. 2.7K 60 frames per second in wide mode. This is 4K, 30 frames per second in wide mode. Time lapse of 1080p, two second intervals in linear mode. All right, so we filmed in 4K, we filmed in 2.7K, we filmed in 1080p, we filmed in 720. We did all sorts of different frame rates. We did 30, we did 60, we did 120, even 240. We did short clips of a minute or two. We did 15 minute long clips. We even filmed an hour in 4K. And this Lexar 633X 128 gigabyte micro SD card did not fail us once. So as I'd mentioned, this micro SD card is not on the list provided by GoPro of cards that work with your camera. However, the 64 gigabyte version of this card is on that list. So hopefully if you pick up this card, you'll have the same luck as I did in my GoPro. It's a fair bit cheaper than the alternatives provided on the GoPro website. I liked it so much that I actually went out and bought a second one. So hope this video helped you out. Please remember to like and subscribe. I've got plenty of videos coming up in the future that I'd love to share with you. Thanks again for watching and take care.